The story you're about to see is one of courage and character, written by a young man faced with a devastating personal setback. His accomplishments transcend any typical standards used to measure academic or athletic achievements. Bo Zimmer brings us this inspiring comeback. Demetrius McKay started on the Bulldog basketball team as a freshman. As a sophomore, he gained a starting spot on the football team. But despite his athletic success, Boo Boo McKay was a young man without direction. At the same time, he was enjoying a renewed relationship with his father, Oscar McKay. Oscar was, however, suffering from a serious illness and was unable to attend the annual Pasco Zephyr Hills game in 1995. It was the biggest game of his son's life. Well, it was one of the, it was, I really don't forget how many people were there, they said, but it was one of the biggest games that I ever played in that I can think of right now. That night, Boo Boo helped lead his team to victory in the closing minutes. It was a night of celebration all around Zephyr Hills. After the game, I went home, I took a little shower, and I was like, I just came out in the bathroom. I was still jumping up for the game and everything. And my mom and my little sister told me that my dad had passed away. And then I just like backed up into a little corner and just fell down. And they told me Ryan and my friend Damien Pickett was coming to pick me up. It was a devastating experience for Boo Boo, an experience that would have a serious impact on his future. After that uh, tragic thing happened, uh, you can see a, a big change in his maturity level and uh, his, uh, his desire to excel. So, uh, you know, he had a real, unfortunately, a, a tragic thing had a good positive effect on him. Helping Boo Boo to cope with his loss was teammate and lifelong friend Ryan Pickett. He kept my head up. I'm saying that's, that's, most, that's the most thing, I mean, that's the best thing for him to do in that kind of situation, to keep my head up. I'm saying don't let me get down, don't let me quit. Always stay on top of me, let me, I'm saying, that's, that's what, that's what his friends for, to do stuff like that. And I'm really proud of Ryan, what he's doing for me. Before his dad died, his, his middle school stuff was like boo-boo, boo-boo don't, you know, the wild boo-boo didn't care about too much, you know. And then after his dad passed, he became the more mature Boo Boo and he took on responsibilities and it changed and he grew up. Boo Boo dedicated his performance in the annual Pasco football game to his father. Before last fall's contest, Boo Boo and Ryan spent some quiet time beside Oscar's grave in silent tribute. We was going to do something and then we like, I said, man, I want to go sit out to the grave I'm going to dedicate this whole game and everything to my dad right now. And I'm saying I really miss him. I was happy inside, but on the outside I was still crying and everything. It, was, it felt so good inside, but I just dropped down on the sideline and started crying. We were being my best friend. I knew he'd, he'd come out. He played hard every game, but this past goal, that's the day his dad passed. So I knew he was going to come out. I knew he was going to make some big plays that game. And it felt good to watch him do that. During his four years of high school, Boo Boo McKay has earned respect along with athletic honors because he faces life's challenges with the tenacity of, well, a bulldog, of course. Even though this happened to Boo Boo, Boo Boo kept his head up. He, he was down, you know it hurts, but he kept his head up and he, he turned it into a good thing. He said he's going to dedicate his whole entire life to his dad, his best friend in the whole world. And he always there for me and I'm going to always be here for him. I love him. I'm glad he did for me. 